Hey, this is a uh, first tutorial. Going to be doing this video right here. All right, let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, I have some pre-keyed footage. I'm going to drag it into the make new composition. And first thing we're going to do with that is we're going to apply an effect. Color correction curves. Now we're going to reverse this basically an invert but I wanted to have a little bit more control over it so here you can see I've got some too much brightness in here and not enough in here so I'm going to adjust that. There we go. Maybe about there. Okay. Next I'm going to apply a levels adjustment. Just to bring in some more details, which will be apparent why later. Definitely want to bring down the color of that shirt. And last, hue and saturation, so we can get the colors a little bit better. There's so a lot of cyans in here. That's the color we want to affect. Turn it a little bit more blue. Great. So we're going to take that and we're going to drag that into a make new composition. This is where we're going to apply our effect. So I type up here CC Mr. Smoothie. What we're going to have to do is duplicate this layer by hitting control D on the on the keyboard um, because you'll see a lot of holes in here. Let me actually turn on the transparency. So the way we fix this is by changing the positions of these points here and that will reveal more or subtract etc so that's looking a lot better right in there but first let's let's watch our footage a little bit see what we want to have take place I want it to start animating on maybe about here a little bit earlier right about So I want to keyframe those points. And move them until they get pretty close to off. Let's do one layer at a time. That looks good. Now the other layer. Make sure we select the effect. We want it to animate on differently. There. If I hold control, I can select multiple layers and then hit U to see the key the keyframes. Okay. I actually want to take this guy here and place him in here as well as a guide. And that makes him a guide layer so that he doesn't um, he won't render in the next compositions. He's just a guide. So I want it to be about fully on, right about maybe here. You can see all these holes that I've got. 
And that's why we have the other layer. Right about there. You can see it can take a little bit to dial this in because it's such a finicky effect. Okay. So I'm going to rename these layers to keep them organized here. Um, I'm going to call this effect. And this one I'm going to call color. Oops. Now, as I animate through here, there will be some points where I'm going to want to fix it. Like you can see, it just doesn't look all that great right there. So I can animate these points and try and give it a little bit of life and a little bit of detail. I'll go ahead and dial these in and speed this up so you don't have to watch. Okay, quick RAM preview. Okay. Well, it's looking pretty good so far. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take that effects layer, and we're going to put that into a new composition. We're going to take the color layer and place that into the same composition, and then we're going to take our original guy and set that into the same composition. If I go back into effects, I can go to about where that animation begins. I want to name this Final. And then I'm going to take both of these, hit letter T on the keyboard, keyframe it, zero. I want the effect one to animate on right away. I don't want this one to start until a bit later. Probably until this is just about filled